Hey YouTube, Jim here. Welcome to Top 10 Archive. They're meant to be man's best friend, but some pooches weren't bred and raised to be all cute and cuddly. While we know how a canine acts is typically based on how it's treated and raised by their owner, considering the 440 plus American deaths caused by dogs from 1982 to 2016, they're bound to get a pretty bad rap for being deadly and vicious. When people mention dangerous dog breeds, chances are they're talking about any of these following 10 compiled from North American data spanning over years. As we get started, help us out by hitting that like button and be sure to leave us a comment because we're always looking to engage in interesting conversations with you. Also, don't forget to click the bell so you get notified every time we put out a new video. Number 10. Pitweiler this obvious designer breed is a strange mix of breeds considering, well, you'll see why soon enough. At an average of 26 inches or roughly 66 centimeters, the Pitweiler is a mid-sized animal that's typically known for being an obedient family dog. But from September 1982 to December 2016, the Pitweiler was involved in approximately 58 attacks resulting in bodily harm, resulting in two deaths and 19 maimings. Owners, or those seeking to own the Pitweiler, are encouraged to establish dominance early in the relationship to make training easier. Number 9. Chow Chow Ah, oh, this is like telling a child their favorite teddy bear is wanted for murder. Though fluffy and irresistibly cuddly, Chow Chows are also said to have a darker side to them. Originally bred in China to hunt and provide protection to its owner, Chow Chows are generally respectful to their human companion and show a fierce aggression if they feel they're in danger. From 1982 to 2016, Chows were held responsible for 66 attacks on humans that resulted in 8 deaths and 44 maimings. While Chows can be trained, it's an ill-advised breed for first-time dog owners as they're known for having a dominating personality and aversion to negative reinforcement. Number 8. Labrador Retriever Known for being friendly and outgoing, these gentle-faced pups have ranked as the most popular dog breed for nearly 30 years in a row according to the American Kennel Club, which is why it's odd to see the breed on the list. Over a period of more than 30 years, Labradors have been pegged for 68 bodily attacks, 41 of which involved child victims. A little less than 10% of those attacks resulted in death, but 53 were severe enough for the victim to have been maimed. In Labradors, aggressive behavior is not uncommon, typically triggered by fear. Before a Labrador turns to aggression, it exhibits warning signs like frequent nose licking, dilated pupils, and yawning. Number 7. Akita An instinctual animal, most of the Akita's aggression problems stem from a lack of human understanding. As a guard dog, the Akita takes its role very seriously and will act aggressively towards anyone or anything that threatens the space it's meant to protect. It's this instinct that may have led to the 75 attacks and 8 deaths attributed to the breed over a 34-year period. When trained and properly socialized, the Akita can be a loving and devoted pup, but those left to their territorial instincts will be quick to consider any place they're in as theirs. Number 6. Boxer These dopey dogs may look innocent and cute, but an estimated 87 attacks over the 34-year span that led to 9 deaths and 45 maimings indicates something beneath those gentle eyes. Believed to have been written into the boxer's genetic code during the breeding process of the Bullenbeiser and British Bulldog, boxers are instinctively aggressive. When not properly socialized and trained, their underlying aggressions can pop up when fear sets in. Boxers that are cut off from being social and puppies removed from their mother too early normally have increased odds of being aggressive. Number 5. Siberian Husky Over the 34-year period reported by Animals 24-7, Huskies accounted for a surprising 95 attacks, 28 deaths, and 33 disfigurements. Looking deep into the woven eyes of these exotic pups, there's a deep and underlying hostility, but it's actually not believed to be a common instinctive trait across the breed. Not too dissimilar from humans, husky aggression can be hereditary and differ greatly from pup to pup. Typically, husky antagonism is a sign of a lack of socialization and indicated by a rigid posture, lunging, muzzle punching, and snapping. Even at an older age, husky aggression can be controlled through continued training and socialization. 
Number 4. Perro de Presa Canario This incredibly territorial and reserved pooch hails from the Canary Islands and is a member of the Bull Mastiff breed. Also known as the Canary Mastiff, the Perro de Presa Canario was originally bred to work livestock, which may lend to its aversion to stranger and its territoriality. Since 1982, the Canary Mastiff has been responsible for 124 attacks, 18 deaths, and 76 mutilations, proving that proper training and socialization is imperative. This breed of Mastiff requires a lot of care, and though the thought of having an exotic four-legged companion appeals to many, is recommended only for experienced dog owners. Number 3. German Shepherd 150 attacks, 17 deaths, 106 maimings. These higher numbers are likely attributed to the German Shepherd's popularity and the lack of awareness when it comes to how human behavior can affect the animal's own actions. Not known for being genetically aggressive, the Shepherd requires early socialization to help cur any future aggressions and should be trained as a puppy to recognize their human companions as pack leader. German Shepherds are also prone to become hostile if previously mistreated by other dogs and or people. Number 2. Rottweiler Now that we're towards the top of the list, the behaviors of the Pitweiler may start to make a little more sense. Over the 34-year period, Rottweilers have been the alleged cause of around 588 attacks and 89 deaths. 316 of those attacks were against children, and 325 resulted in the individual being maimed. But this doesn't mean Rottweilers are a barking murder machine. Though they are naturally guarded, Rottweilers are not naturally dangerous, typically picking up on the negative behaviors from their human companions. These sleek pups are rather vocal about their emotions, and it's rarely a surprise when they're about to strike, especially once they start growling and baring their teeth. Rottweiler hostility is fairly easy to curb if caught early in the pup's life through training. Number 1. Pitbull As much as the Pitbull's human companions refute the claim that their adorable pooch is a hostile creature, sometimes numbers are difficult to refute. Looking through the past 34 years, pit bulls have been the cause of over 4,600 attacks, 349 deaths, and a brutal 3,098 maimings. Of those attacks, 1,793 were children. With that being said, the Bulldog and Terrier hybrid is more than capable of being a sweet and loyal pooch. Pit bulls were initially bred to be an alpha dog and were used to track and hold prey for their human companion and it's this aggression and hostility that tends to surface, making them the ideal animal for dogfighting. At an early age, it's imperative to show that they're not the alpha in the relationship. When socialized early on, the typical aggression pit bulls have against other animals can be easily tempered. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a like, leave us a comment, and click the bell to get notified about our next new video.